Hey guys, uh, fun little experiment here. So I pulled up the uh, robot that we did in one of um, one of my previous videos. And a friend of mine told me to check out a website that generates uh, 3D models. So I thought, why not just pull up a robot uh, that I did and then see what kind of model can uh, AI automatically generate based on this image, right? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally just a, uh, do a BPR and do a screenshot. So this is gonna be my screenshot. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into that website. I'm gonna show you where uh, what that is. So the website is called, uh, the uh, AI generator is called Rodin, R-O-D-I-N. Uh, you can type that in Google and you should uh, find the website. Now, uh, the way it works is you uh, supposedly can just import an image and it will generate a 3D asset from the image. So I was just wondering how that works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, plus, I'm gonna upload my screenshot and now I'm gonna say generate. All right, and then you can see it will automatically uh, generate uh, some kind of a base mesh based on the image that you input. Now, I don't think this is, uh, you know, very useful as far as like the end result, clearly. Um, it doesn't look very good, but uh, it does give you an opportunity to arrive to maybe a solid base mesh if you are doing something completely new and doing it from scratch and you want to have a precise proportions or scale for a specific character. So let's just do another test. Let's, for example, uh, go into Photoshop and in here, let me just do file new and I'll do 1024 by 1024. And let me just generate a, uh, I don't know, let's do 3D cartoon uh, dragon. All right, it's giving me uh, these three options. And honestly, they are super cute. So let's say I wanted to make a dragon like this, right? I know it has two tails, that's kind of crazy. This one is kind of good, but what if I wanted to get a jump start on the base mesh? Maybe this would be useful for that, right? Instead of starting from a sphere, maybe I can have a shape that is, uh, you know, somewhat more, I don't know, sculpted, right? So let me save this, I'm gonna save this. All right, and I'm gonna jump back into the website. Instead of this guy, let's try uh, the uh, the dragon, right? I'm gonna say plus. All right, so here he is, he's looking good. Let me say uh, generate and see what, it's give, uh, what it gives us. All right, and it's giving us something that is clearly not useful, right? You wouldn't say, oh, okay, I can just throw this in the game and uh, it's done, right? But maybe it's uh, useful as far as like using the base mesh of the proportions, right? So you can see the proportions of the wings and the proportions of the head. And it does have to assume certain aspects of the of the model or drawing right in the back and all of that. But uh, let's just see, uh, what does this look like in ZBrush? All right, so I'm gonna say confirm and it looks like I'm not able to get lower poly, but that doesn't uh, really matter, right? If I'm gonna use kind of a ZBrush base mesh, I don't really care about the poly count. So I'm gonna say confirm. All right, and here's the preview. Let's say I wanna grab this and take a look at it in ZBrush. Uh, OBJ is fine, right? Let's just do download. And in ZBrush, obviously, I'm going to import the uh, new model. All right, so this is how it comes in. You can see what that looks like. And if I do Control uh, D a few times, you could see that maybe uh, this is a better place to start sculpting than uh, a total sphere, right? If I was uh, doing this for a uh, real out, of course, uh, most likely chop off the feet and just do the feet uh, myself. But as far as the body and the head proportions, uh, you know, everything is kind of in place. So I'm not sure, honestly, how helpful this is, but this is a really cool uh, and interesting kind of a, a workflow if anyone is interested in arriving to a place where uh, a base mesh, you know, something uh, that requires specific proportions um, uh, could be useful, right? It could speed, it, speed up uh, your workflow uh, maybe just a little bit. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in our next video.